What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to do two things. Record your wet and dry signal using an Axe FX and a Focusrite Scarlett 8 i 8 um, Recording two tracks is helpful so that you can hear you know, what your potential tone sounds like, but then also record the dry tone so that you can reamp it later. Secondly, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to digitally reamp your dry guitar signal again using the Axe FX2 and the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8. What's important to note first is our hardware configuration. So I have an instrument in going in just like normal. That's how I'm going to record. I have two SPDIF cables that are rated 75 ohms and you need at least 75 ohm cable to be able to do this otherwise you'll get static and fuzz so i have both cables going the in and the out from the axe effects going respectively to the out and the in on the focus right so the in to the axe effects goes to the out of the focus right and the out of the axe effects goes to the in of the focus right they're uh, they're opposite naturally and then i have my unbalanced left out going to the front of the Axe FX. And this is where our dry tone is going to go to. And I'm actually going to be able to gain stage it with this preamp that's in there um, so we can get a nice uh, dry tone without clipping. So that's the hardware configuration. The next thing that we have to do is we need to set up the Axe FX and Scarlet Mix Control to be able to record our wet and dry signals. So first I'm gonna to go to the front of the Axe FX and I'm going to hit input output. And I am going to change my main input source to analog. And I'm going to change the world clock to auto so that the Axe FX is the master device in this situation. And then I'm going to go to mix control here. I'm going to try and use the screen capture software to show you what like my axe edit looks like, what mix control looks like, and what Cubase looks like. And it's my first time using it, so I really apologize. I'm going to try and uh, edit the video as, as best I can. So here's what the axe effects preset should look like. All right, we've opened up Axe Edit now, and I'm going through and basically setting up my tone on that top line, and then I'm creating shunts all the way through on that bottom line to create two separate channels in this one tone. We're going to split the tone. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at panning each one respectively left and right, and I'm going to also boost the dry signal 20 dB. All right, now here is what mix control should look like. All right, so I'm actually have my guitar in my hand at this point. I'm playing. You can see my SPDIF um, output towards the middle of mix control. And then on the left side, you can see my dry tone. Um, you need this set to 48 kilohertz and it needs to be set to SPDIF master so that um, the mix control is the slave device. Again, analog two being my dry signal that I'm toggling between right now. All right, now let's go into our DAW and let's record our wet and dry signal at the same time. All right, first things first, um, I've actually already recorded this, but I'm gonna go through the setup. Um, if you hit F4 in Cubase, you can bring up your inputs. I have my stereo going to spit if left and right. I have my wet track going to spit if left. My dry track going to input two on the Scarlet um, because that's where we're outing our routing our dry signal. And then the outputs, I have my standard monitor outputs and then I've created a second set of outputs called reamping and we're setting that also to spit if left and right respectively. All right, so I'm gonna go to my wet track. Um, this is the the tone, the not the dry tone, but the wet tone out of the Axe FX we're getting and the input should be set to the wet bus and we're routing out to stereo. And then on the dry track, the input should be set to the dry um, input that we had already created. When you record these, you need to select both, prime both of them, and then record them both at the same time, and you will get 
the wet tone and the dry tone. Now that we've got our wet and dry signal recorded, what we want to do is configure the ax effects so that it will read the input from the focus right, okay? Because right now our input is set to our instrument. So we want the ax effects to think the input is coming from our SPDIF cable. So what we need to do is we need to go to the input output screen here and the main input source needs to be SPDIF. And the world clock needs to be SPDIF so that our master device in this situation is our interface. We do not want Axe Effects being the master device. All right, and then SPDIF AES obviously has to be set to SPDIF. And then go down a bit and find USB Digi Outsource and change that to output one. This is important here. This is the most important part of this whole video, okay? You gotta set the internal clock source, or to internal, and then you need to route your SPDIF output one to your DAW, essentially. This is what's gonna connect all the pieces for this whole thing. What DAW channel you route it to will vary on how it's set up in your DAW, so toggle between them and you'll find it. If you go to your dry track, what we wanna do is set the input to nothing and set the output to our SPDIF out, which is our uh, stereo out. Then we wanna go to our mix track and set the input to our stereo in and set the output to our rhythm guitar bus. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, basically when we hit record, the dry signal is going to go out the scarlet through the ax effects and we're going to render whatever tone that we have into that third channel of Cubase and we will be able to toggle through all the different tones that we have on our ax effects and it will change it as you as you're recording so um, when you find a tone you like you can actually just bounce that whole tone and uh, you know see how it fits in your mix additionally what you can do is you can actually monitor this tone if you um, unmute the uh, the channel that it's going through in your Scarlet Mix Control. You'll be able to monitor that tone while you're playing your mix back. And now I'm gonna move my Axe Effects and change patches. I'm changing patches with the Axe Effects. Right? Okay, so let's listen to the actual recorded wet tone. There's the dry tone. All right, well, that's, that's all it is, really. I mean, you're routing signals and once you get the that all down, it's golden. Hope this video helped you. It was weird for me to make because I'm usually just recording music and not video at the same time, but then adding in screen prints and screen captures. So I apologize for my total 2005-esque style video here, but hopefully that helps you. If you liked it, um, leave me a comment. If you didn't, I don't care. <laughs> Um, and hopefully I can keep doing more of these videos.